Hi folks, welcome to the Truck King YouTube channel and lovely Nissan Stadium here in Nashville, Tennessee. Now I'm out here today with Kawasaki to try out that guy right there. That's the all new four seater KRX4 and we're actually gonna go into Nissan Stadium onto the Monster Jam course and try it out. So make sure you stay tuned. Well, folks, here we are outside of Nissan Stadium. I'm here with Ken from Kawasaki. How we doing? So, Ken, why don't you first of all let the folks know uh, who you are and what you do with Cowie? Sure. Yeah, my name is Ken Essex. I'm the Senior Manager of Public Relations, Consumer Events, and Race Marketing with Kawasaki. Cool. And uh, we're here with the KRX Demo Tour. Uh, this is our uh, Terex KRX Demo Tour that travels the country, uh, goes to all the major rally stops, uh, riding areas across the country, Virginia, Utah, uh, here in Tennessee, uh, but there's special events like this one where we get to partner with our friends at Monster Jam and build a unique course on the floor of the NFL Stadium, uh, exclusively built for our Kawasaki side-by-side -side, and in particular the new KRX4. Cool. Yeah, I mean this is what we're down here for, right? The brand new four-seater. So why don't we go over, you know, what's new? What's exciting on KRX4? What's really cool is obviously the KRX1000 two-seater was very, very successful for us. So we didn't want to impact that. And a lot of other uh, side-by-sides, when they stretch the car, you start lacking in some other performance. And sure. we had such a planted chassis that we put a lot of focus on maintaining those key features that everyone loves about the two-seater. Yeah, so, so like the bed, for instance, I was asking you, it's the same length on the four-seater as the two, right? It is, it is. And so to make it super simple, from the steering wheel forward and from the rear seats backwards, the car is identical. Got it. Same engine, same bed capacity, uh, same suspension, same A-arms, same wheel package, uh, and really we're just looking at that longer chassis. So we spent a lot of time uh, with the R&D team. Basically, as soon as we launched in 2019, the two-seater, yeah. they went to work on the four-seater sure. and went through a lot of different iterations. But the biggest thing for us we want to focus on is comfort. This, we want to be, this is going to be a family machine, and when you get in that back seat, there's tons of room. You cool. can put four full-size adults in here, no problem. Everyone's going to have a good time. You're not bumping elbows. You're not cramped. Your knees aren't in your chest. Well, I'm going to so, jam myself back there. Yeah, so I'll absolutely. I'll be able to let the people know. We, absolutely. <laughs> so now I'm going to climb in, and I'll show you how I actually fit. So I stand at six foot two, a little over 300 pounds, and I fit good back here. Honestly, it's pretty wild how much space there is. The first thing I noticed too, there's no plastic shroud here that comes up really tall for the engine. So I got all kinds of knee room. I'm usually worried about head room too. And I'm not just sitting in here not riding. I actually jumped in the back seat out there on the course. You can see some of the footage here. And I'm bouncing around back there. No problem with head room. Great bar here to hold on to. This is seriously a good back seat. I could ride back here all day. So this isn't just for kids. Full size adults will be just as happy back here too. Our KRX4 right now is offered with an ES, electronic controlled suspension. Okay. So that's for, with our partner from uh, Fox. Yeah. They have their live valve, which yeah. is a smart shock. Also paired it with internal bypass. So really, you're getting really premium suspension. Uh, it's a dual rate spring. Uh, so you've got a, a two different rates of springs that are working in conjunction to give you a really nice, plush, comfortable feel. One of the coolest features on this is that electronic suspension. So you've got three pre-designed maps that are gonna ch change on the fly as you're going and at any speed you can jump from firm to standard to the soft, soft. mode. Cool. And as you can see here on the on the wow. TFT screen, this is also new on the ES. Yeah. Um, you've got a full, you can see where the firm and if you switch it, there you're getting your, your ratios, your compression settings and you can actually feel yeah. the machine sink as you get down to that soft. So you want a nice cushy ride, you sit them in soft, you pack it full of four big dudes or some equipment in the back, you want to firm it up. Sure. Well, it's Monster Jam, folks. This is what happens. Yeah. We get trucks going by. <laughs> Not great for interviews, but uh, it's a hell of a lot of fun seeing them roll through. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody, we're in. You can see the stadium. There's the course. 
This is my first go in the KRX four seater. I've driven the KRX quite a bit, so it'll be interesting to feel the differences. And I just gotta tell you, this is the coolest thing ever to be on the Monster Jam course. And we will be back for Monster Jam tonight too, so uh, stay tuned for some footage of the big trucks. But for now, KRX, let's do it. of the Monster Jam course. We got to go out there with these KRX4s, put in a few laps. So, I mean, it's not gonna be the same impressions after riding for a full day out on the trail, but still, we got a nice feel for the machine. So, first of all, powertrain here is the exact same. That hasn't been updated. A lot of people have complained that the KRX isn't quick enough. For me, it's more than enough power. It is not the bonkers power of some of the turbocharged models. There's no doubt about that. But uh, yeah, for me, it's more than enough. One of the things though about the KRX, which does stand out, it has kind of a typical rubber band CVT, which is that you put your foot into it, you hear the red spike, and then you feel the speed kind of catch up to the red. So it's a little bit different, like I said, from some of those crazy turbo models, but uh, yeah, if you don't need the wild power, this is more than enough. Now, really, the, the, the real gem of the KRX is the suspension. And it was always a super smooth machine, but you just stretch the wheelbase and it's even smoother now. We're coming up and over those big whoops and bumps, hopping over those telephone poles, and it's just unbelievable how little of that front to back bucking you really get. The other thing that's crucial here is the electronic shocks, and I love that you can switch it on the fly. So again, when we're bouncing over those telephone poles, I'd go to firm, and then it wouldn't bottom out. On the flip side, when I'm jumping up and down and kind of landing hard off of those big whoops, go to soft, and you get that big, cushy landing. Uh, so yeah, the fact that it switches on the fly is really cool. Uh, again, a bit of a negative, and I felt it in there because it was a tighter course. Long wheelbase, this thing takes a lot to turn. We were in four-wheel drive the whole time, so I couldn't really kick out the back end, but it's just something you gotta be aware of. You stretch out that wheelbase, yeah, you know what, you're not gonna fit into the tightest little trans. But overall, smooth and comfort, those are the words that come to mind. And, and it doesn't matter if you're in the front or the back, it's gonna be smooth and comfortable anywhere you are in this area. Well folks, we have come to the end of this video and I got to go check out Monster Jam. These trucks are absolutely ridiculous. If you get a chance, definitely go. Now what's the verdict on this KRX4? Well really, Kawasaki just took all the good things about the two-seater, the comfort and the smoothness of that thing, and they added two extra seats, but they're not just kid seats. You can fit a full-size adult back there and that is definitely important. This is a fun machine. If you get a chance, go take a look at one. So like I said, that's it for this one. Now please go below into the comments. Let me know what you think of the KRX4. As always, while you're down there, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit join to become a member, and then come right back here to Truck King to see what we're testing next. See ya.